Jamal, you, Nicole, and Mike each had 25 tonight. Uh, say very, uh, very interesting uh, number there. Uh, what, what was working for you guys offensively tonight? Um, shit. Um, <laughs> Great. You know, just the usual. Just the usual, right? You know, just playing our game. We made some shots, which was probably the thing that was working this game. A little more differently than the other, the other games that you guys asked me that. So, sixty-five percent from the field. Who? You guys, as a team, shot sixty-five percent from the field. Like that's just that's an abnormal number. I guess we're a good team, man. We're a good team. Everybody was over twenty in the starting lineup, except for Pope. You know, who still played a great game, but yeah, everybody played well. Um, I think Mike tied his regular season career high with five assists. Um, have you seen kind of a jump in just his his playmaking and just kind of how much he's doing offensively? I mean, obviously he's got the three point shot, but it seems like he's developing a more well rounded offensive game as the season goes on. I would agree with you. Yeah. <clears throat> Was that a question? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just described Mike. I don't know what you want me to yeah. say. I mean, has. Um, how much does that help you guys as a team? Oh, if he's, tremendously. If he's that complete of an offensive player. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great, man. You know, because he's such a lethal shooter. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when he catches and go, pump fakes and drives, um, you know, it's, it's putting defense under pressure. He's still 6'10", can get to the rim. Um, so, if, you know, when he's passing like that or keeping, keeping the, the men on their toes, at least, you know, um, it's great for us. Uh, he's been playing well. Rebounding especially, you know, just always being there. And um, yeah, man, he's, do, he's doing he's doing really good. Question, question: What was it like playing against Bruce tonight? It's not my first time, <clears throat> um, so I kind of have a, a familiar, familiar, you know, what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of familiar That's with good. his game. Um, obviously, he's aggressive on defense and likes to get to that floater. He's fast going downhill left. Um, That's basically the scouting report. Could shoot three, you know what I'm saying? So. Coach Mullen has brought up turnovers after each of the last two games. How? It's tough. It's tough because we all trying to make the right play, um, trying to play unselfish, you know, trying to give the ball to another teammate. Um, we just got to be careful. You know, I had five. Joe had seven. Um, Reggie had three. You know, I, I, we got we got to just be able to, even if <clears throat> it's not being more selfish, but just being a little more uh, conservative and hesitant to to throw those tight passes. You know, say so we can still get what we want if we uh, you know keep the ball for a second longer. So. It's a, it's a good balance. You wanna you wanna you know make the right play and and, and force the the defense to play defense. You know what I'm saying? So um, it comes with the territory. You know when you got good passes on the team. You guys held Indiana to seven fast break points. Obviously seven. 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 Yeah. Am I looking at that right. Yeah. I don't know. There I, you was go. I thought you said seventeen. Seven points. Uh, yeah. So I uh, you know obviously a different team without uh, Halliburton. But what was the key there for you guys? Uh, it was just a point of emphasis to get back. You know, we knew that that's what they do, and they do it really well, and they've been doing it all season. So we knew it was going to be a long game. They're going to play for all 48, and that's exactly what they did. So uh, I thought the coaches did a great job just communicating that, you know, letting us know that, that that's, that's the way they play. And uh, we responded in, in a big way. Where do you feel like you've improved the most personally, defensively, and what's been your mentality on that side of the uh, community I mean, some tough foul calls, but, you know, I think just – Communication-wise, I think talking early, um, and being physical at, at the point of attack, you know, at the top, and then um, just playing my angles, you know, I think I think that's a big part of it. A lot of it's effort, but you know, if you can, you know, a lot of teams do that to me. I, I face some some of the hardest <coughs> hardest playing guys in the league, so um, I try to do the same thing on on the other end and just make it you know make it tough for them, whoever I'm guarding. And then. Um... When you've gotten the defensive player of the game chain, they've been saying third team. Definitely third team. I believe I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I do a good job. Obviously, I get caught in some mismatches, especially when without trouble, stuff to guard the post. But, um, you know, I'm very confident in not letting an opposing player score no matter who it is. So I take those challenges very personally. Um, I like to have fun, you know. Yeah. Tough night for the bench guys other than Reggie. A lot, of, a lot of those guys are young. Are you in their ear, kind of encouraging them at all? I mean, it's tough, man. It's tough. You know, you you, uh, you only get so many chances at that age. You know, so uh, coach was leading on his vest tonight. Um, a couple of plays, you know, I think uh, we couldn't get one of the plays down, or, or defensively. So 
know, and one guy came out, and then um, they're just trying to find the rhythm. I, I don't like to, you know, these guys are, what, barely 20, 21 years old, so they're going to make mistakes throughout the season. they got to get used to the pace. Uh, they got to get used to, you know, if you don't shoot the open shot and you try to drive, it's probably going to call travel. Just those little things, you got to make a couple mistakes to, to learn from. And so I've got full confidence in the guys that I'm playing with, and, you know, they'll figure it out as time goes by. How has your game from a playmaking standpoint maybe like slowed down or have you been able to see more offensively because your assist numbers are up it just feels like you're finding guys in better positions to score i think just playing more aggressive offensively just looking to score you know when i'm scoring i bring a little more help and um i'm scoring so um you know guys are guys are open and guys are shooting with confidence um, and, uh, you know, if I don't get this, you know, guys are playing behind that. We're still playing the game. So it's good to see the offense flow like that. Um, that's, that's really about it. I don't overthink that one too much. You guys are 41 games into the season, just right at the midway point. Just where, where would you assess that the team is at just as a, as a group? You know our record. It's pretty good. What's our record? 28 and 13. Um, I think considering everything, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? I was out for a month. Um, minute restriction when I came back for few games after rolling my ankle twice. Um, we've had guys in and out of the lineup, you know, relied on rookies heavy early on. And I think, you know, they're growing tremendously. So I would just say we're in a, we're in a, we're in a pretty good spot. You know, just got to, i say the biggest thing is, you know, taking care of this road trip and just bringing the same energy that, that we do at home uh, on the road. I think that'll be our biggest challenge uh, th- so far throughout the season. One more question. Does it ever surprise you when you look down the stat sheet and see Jokic only missed one shot, 12 of 13 from the field? Does it surprise me? Yeah, does that like, is it ever like, wow, I can't believe you only missed one shot? Uh, no. No. That's just what he does, baby. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.